Hello. You are a very good toad. Oh my god. Look how well it's grown in. Oh my god, again? Why are you running? Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Roach. Welcome to my channel. A few months ago, I made a video about this enclosure and its inhabitant. In that video, I built this 20 plus foot enclosure for an Eastern box turtle. I took you through every single step of making it and I went and picked up the turtle. So if you wanna watch that video, I highly encourage you to go check it out. Since then, a lot has changed and a lot has improved. In this video, I will be tackling a couple projects to make this enclosure even better. I will reveal what name I've given to my Eastern box turtle, and we are going to be feeding him, which is probably the cutest and most entertaining thing. So stick around for that. Without further ado, let's get into it. These rocks need to go, all the weeds need to go, and this branch, I don't want to cut it off because this tree never did anything wrong, but it's just really annoying because every time I walk by, it just, you know, smacks me in five different ways. Other than that, I love this tree because it offers some dappled sunlight and shade to my turtle, but this damn branch, I'm telling you, I think I'll leave it because I'd feel too guilty to cut a branch. I'm a criminal. We have arrived to the most prestigious shopping place of all. Only the rich, only the Gucci, only the Drakes, only the top of the top shop at Walmart. Okay, so I need some mulch to put in front of the enclosure because every time I kneel in front of it to feed my turtle or to just, you know, look into his beautiful red eyes that are so dreamy and I scrape up my knees, I scrape up my shins, you know, and then I wonder why I have bruises everywhere. So I think a good solution to that is to replace the rocks with mulch. This stuff. $3.98. Do you see this? $3.98. I told you only the rich shop here. So we'll do beep, boop, bop, boop, beep. Four bags. Load in some mulch in my Lamborghini. Oh no, it appears that I've dropped it. Hot. That was four, right? Go from Walmart. Look what I just found under a rock. Oh, shimmy shimmy. Look at this magnificent toad. You are a very good toad. Let's bring you somewhere safer. Collect the toad. Oh no, toad, toad, don't commit toad side. Let's carefully bring the toad somewhere safe. Don't forget to take your toad for a walk today. Thank you very much, toad, for visiting my turtle enclosure. I found a pretty isopod. Oh. <laughs> Guys, look, while I was clearing out some rocks, I found this little tiny northern leopard frog. A little tiny baby. It's so tiny. I'm gonna go relocate it somewhere a little safer in the bush there. And now on my way back to the enclosure, what the heck? What the heck? Get over here! Get over here! Let me bring you somewhere safer! Oh my goodness! That is a beautiful toad! I 
am gonna need some more mulch. My calculations were not perfectly accurate. Beep, boop, bop, boop, beep. Math is not my strong suit, okay? I don't like math. But you know what math I do like? My YouTube analytics. So if you wanna help a girl out, smash that like button, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. There are a few patches that need to be filled with mulch and I'd like to make it a little bit thicker as well. So let's go get some more. All right, I've made an executive decision. This branch is annoying me. I'm going to cut it off. Call me a murderer. Call me whatever you want. Put me on the phone with Mother Nature. I couldn't find my hedge trimmers, so this will have to do. This is significantly better. I can actually walk around now without, you know, that happening. All right, I'm going to pop these lids off and give you all a nice look at the enclosure and how well it has grown in. Boom, there it is. Look how well it's grown in. So starting on the left here, we have the Boston fern I had planted, which has blown up. And as I'm sure you noticed before I took the lids off, it was growing out of the lid. And you'll notice as I go through the enclosure that there's a lot of native plants and weeds that have grown in here, which I absolutely love. Then over here we have that big log hide which he spends a lot of time underneath and this is wheat grass that I put in if you watch the original video and it just took off. It's crazy. Then tons of native plants here that grew in. The hibiscus plant which looks sad right now but literally a few days ago this flower was like blooming baby. So it goes in and out of bloom a lot as you can see there are some buds and some new flowers that will be coming in soon. There's even a dandelion plant here. There's a lot of those, but that's all safe for the turtle. Now look at how much these geraniums have took off. And then there's some really thick grass here that I could probably cut, but he's been trucking his way along, pushing everything out of his way, and he kind of made himself a little tunnel. So I think I'm just going to leave it for now. And then we have his little pond, pool, water feature, whatever you wanna call it, which he has been utilizing so much. I see him completely submerged or partially submerged in it all the time, especially on sunny days. And then the plants around it have grown so well and it really helps kind of hide some of the plastic to make it look more natural. There you are, I was looking for you. What are you doing? Are you hungry? All right, who's ready for the name reveal? I will do it while presenting a very juicy raspberry. This is... Rooster. Rooster, the Eastern box turtle. Oh. Yeah, eating and basic survival needs are incredibly difficult to accomplish. Where, where are you going? Are you taking your food to go? Sir, I have more for you. Where are you going? Why are you running? Why are you swimming? He's taking his raspberry for a little walk. <laughs> Hello. He's coming. Here you want blueberry? Nice. So I chose to name him Rooster for two reasons. First, his eyes and his skin coloration remind me a lot of a rooster. But there's a show I used to watch called The Ranch, and one of the characters' names is Rooster. So I thought that would be a perfect name for him. Nice sweet potato. Nice sweet potato fryer, just missing the chipotle sauce.
decisions, decisions. He likes the blueberries. Look at his eyes. They're so unreal. I like to have him chase some of his food around. It's a nice little form of exercise and enrichment, and it's quite entertaining for me as well. Don't fall. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel bad for laughing. But... <laughs> oh my god, again? Bro, don't you learn? <laughs> So I've had a few people ask me what I plan on doing with him in the winter time because I do live in Ontario, Canada, so it gets really cold over here. And the answer is I will be bringing him inside. Obviously he won't have a 20 foot long enclosure inside, but I will make it as big and suitable as possible within my reptile room. The truth is Eastern box turtles are incredibly cold tolerant. In fact, Many hundred years ago, they were actually native here in Southern Ontario. They are now listed as extirpated, which means they no longer occur in Ontario in the wild. However, the fact that they used to occur here says a lot about their cold tolerance and the fact that they can easily survive our cold winters here. I actually know a few keepers and breeders in Southern Ontario who have kept some Eastern box turtles outside year round. And they go down into brumation as they would have in the wild. And then they emerge again in the spring. But I will not be doing that for a few reasons. First of all, I worry too much and I would hate to go all winter long without seeing this beautiful face. So he's gonna come inside and be nice and comfortable in the house with me. <laughs> Now, I have heard talk that there may still be some adult eastern box turtles out in the wild in Ontario, but they're said to just be released pets who are just surviving and kicking it in the wild. It's no surprise considering how long-lived they are, but don't get your hopes up. If there are any adults out there, that is not enough to kickstart a new breeding population. And even if there were intentional efforts, it's likely impossible that we could reintroduce the species to Canada just because of how much human interference is declining the populations that we already have here in Ontario. Every single species of turtle that is native in Ontario is at risk and it is mainly due to road mortality and habitat degradation, basically just a bunch of human caused crap. Look at the camera. Good job. I am honestly not looking forward to the winter time for many obvious reasons, but it's just so nice to see Rooster out here in this massive enclosure. It brings me a lot of pride and joy to know that I can keep an animal outside in Canada and just see him thrive out here. However, I think it's safe to say that he would enjoy his winter more inside in a slightly smaller enclosure than out here in the ground under three feet of snow. So I won't feel terrible about bringing him inside for the winter time. And then next spring, he will be right back out here. Something I love seeing in his enclosure, everywhere where the vegetation is very dense and lush, he has to kind of plow through and make his own little tunnels. So I can see the little paths where he scoots around his enclosure all around here. And around the back there, there's another little tunnel there. And it's just so cool to see how he's made this enclosure his own. And he has all his little corridors that go to each section of the enclosure. Huh? You're just killing it out here, dude. Well, that concludes this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments. 
if there's one thing you could add to this enclosure to make it better than it already is, what would it be? Let me know. I want some inspiration. I got some big plans for this enclosure. It's not done. You'll be seeing more updates like this in the future. I would also like to formally announce that I will be attending Animal Con USA as a content creator. The event will take place on September 15th to the 17th in Orlando, Florida. If you want a chance to meet some of your favorite creators in this industry, this is your opportunity to do so. There's going to be so many fun activities, so many cool panels, so many cool people to talk to and to learn from, and just a lot of fun shenanigans. So if that's something that interests you, which it should, I will leave the link in the description to where you can buy your tickets. Be there. I'm going to be there. I want to see you. It's going to be so much fun. You have no idea. On that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you even more. And I'll see you in my next video.